In this video, I'd like to talk about how you use a breadboard. Breadboards look like this, and they are a way of connecting up circuits without having to use large amounts of soldering or twisting wires together. The basic idea is that when you have a component, like say a resistor, it has two wires. And you might want to connect these to the next part of the circuit. So what you would do is you would stick one of those wires into one of the holes here, like say that hole. Let's say you wanted to connect your resistor to, I don't know, a capacitor. What you would then do is stick one piece of the capacitor into another hole in the same line here. If you look at the back of the breadboard, you'll see why this works. This is the back of the breadboard, and you can see that all the holes are joined up underneath by bits of metal. So they're all vertical bits of metal in the middle, and the horizontal ones along the top. So what this means is, if you connect one lead of a resistor to here, and one lead of a capacitor to there, so let's say this was this, and that was that, they are now connected together. Because the electricity, the electricity comes through here, goes down to the hole, goes along through the metal down there, and then comes back over there. Likewise, if you plug, let's say you have a battery and a resistor, What you could do is you could plug this into here and that into any one of the other five along here because these are all joined up underneath the surface as you can see down here and these two are now connected what you don't want to do is try and join up uh, put both leads for a given element into the same row. So once again, let's say you had a resistor and you put that end in, I don't know, say here and this end in, say there that now means you have basically a wire connected across there. So now nothing's going to go through the resistor. If you apply any voltage across here Voltage will, current will go straight through the wires underneath the surface rather than through the resistor. So let's imagine wiring up a whole circuit. So let's start off with, oh, say, a battery. So let's say we have a battery here. And we can put one end there and one end here. And now we have a resistor. And we can connect this end of the resistor to that end of the battery. And then we put the other end of the resistor, say, here. And then we can have a capacitor. And we'll connect one end here and one end over there. Now you should bear in mind that beneath the circuit, these are connected. These are connected, and these are connected. So you actually do have a good circuit here. A bad circuit? Well, let's imagine you had a battery here, and you connected it to there, and the other end to there. That would immediately be a bad circuit, because beneath the bottom, you've got this, so this, the current's just going to go round in circles there really fast, and you've got a short circuit. So in general, you use one row, like this, to connect one lead of two different components. You never plug two leads of the same component into the same row. And you just bear in mind how things work beneath the surface. As this chart shows, and all will be good.